Hey, what's going on guys? This is Broku, and welcome back to another Dragon Ball video. And this is another what if titled, What if Piccolo died instead of Goku against Raditz? Shout out to Dominator50 on my Discord for suggesting this what if. If you are interested in giving me your own suggestions, then join my Discord and suggest away. My Discord will be linked in the description if you want to do that. Also guys, before we get into this what if, please do leave a like and subscribe, and also turn on notifications if you want to know every single time I upload a video. Also, if you're interested in other anime like My Hero Academia, Black Clover, and One Punch Man, then check out my other channel, Broku No Hero, it will be linked in the description. So in the Saiyan Saga, it became a huge deal that Goku finally died. Goku was finally dead. He has been finally killed despite surviving all the way through Dragon Ball. And he was actually killed by Piccolo, technically, but it was because of Raditz. Now this really changed the game here for the entire series. Goku got to train with a god in King Kai, and Piccolo got to train Gohan to grow up and be a fighter. Now if the roles were reversed, it would be quite different. Would Piccolo be able to train with King Kai or this early in the game? Would Goku be enough to train Gohan and morph him into more of a man? Well, this is going to be discussed in this video. So first we need to try and discuss how this would happen. How would the roles be reversed so that Goku survives and Piccolo dies? As we know, Goku held Raditz in place while Piccolo used the special beam cannon to kill them both. And Goku doesn't really have a relative attack that is nearly as strong, but he does have something similar. The Kamehameha. It could only get to a power level in like the 900s, not enough to kill Raditz with a single attack. But maybe if he used a few, he could get it. So let's just say for some reason or another, Piccolo is the one getting Raditz in a headlock. Goku does a Kamehameha, it pierces Raditz's armor, but stops at his chest. Goku does another this time, wounding Raditz's chest, and he's bleeding. And finally a third Kamehameha that blows through Raditz's chest, ripping open his chest, and going right through his back as well, and Piccolo. With Piccolo and Raditz dead, Kami's dead as well and the Dragon Balls are done for also. Of course, there's also the whole Raditz talking to them, saying, oh, two Saiyans more powerful than me are gonna be coming, they heard everything, gonna revive with the Dragon Balls, blah 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 blah, although they couldn't because the Dragon Balls are gone. With Kami dead, there actually is no way for him to recommend King Yemma for Piccolo to go to train at King Kai's. But wait, there actually is. See, it would be possible because Kame is going to have to go through the checkout line too. And I'm sure the King Yemma would allow it and let Piccolo go, as even though Piccolo was evil, he was one of the few hopes for Earth as the Saiyans would return. But also, he is somewhat of a changed man. I mean, in this scenario, he let one of the men he hated most kill him, just so the Earth could be saved. So in this scenario, Piccolo gets to train with King Kai. He learns the Kaioken, he learns the Ginkidama, he gets to train in the 10 times gravity, while Goku won't be getting any of those benefits as he is stuck on Earth. And he would need to go to Namek to gather the Namekian balls earlier than normal. So Goku takes Gohan with him and Bulma to head to Namek to find the Namek Mechian Dragon Balls to wish back Kami and Piccolo, which would then let the Earth Dragon Balls come back. While Goku and Gohan land on Namek, remember, Goku would be pretty weak compared to the warrior Namekian, whose power levels were in the thousands, but they would have a pretty easy way of explaining their way into the situation to show that they were good guys. To say they have a Namekian who acts as a god on their planet, he died and so the Dragon Balls were ruined and two very powerful people were coming to kill everyone on their planet in a year. I am sure if this information got passed down to Elder Guru, he would let them use the Dragon Balls and maybe even more. Guru would release the potential of both Gohan and Goku, leading Goku to be a very rapid increase in power. While Gohan would get the power increase as well, it wouldn't be as noticeable because he doesn't know proper key control himself. Goku would meet Nail, the strongest warrior on Namek, and after discovering his role as the strongest, of course Goku would want a friendly challenge. Haha. <laughs> Nail, go 50% on him for now. Guru bellowed out. Goku powered up with his new power and fought Nail, and was still absolutely destroyed, despite Nail only using half his power. Nail was much faster, stronger, and Goku just couldn't do anything. He's defeated, but he appreciates the experience. You're easily 10 times stronger than Raditz at least. I was maybe half as strong as you. You're something else. I'm gonna come back 10 times stronger myself, and we're gonna fight once again. Nail would smirk at Goku, but the gang needed to head back to Earth to train, so they head back with, on the ship with Bulma, and they get back home. So, with them doing that, there's still a lot of time to train, so Goku and Gohan trains with the Z Fighters, although, 
Gohan would have a struggling bit of a time. He wouldn't go through the man phase that Piccolo made him go through, but still, with Goku getting his power unleashed by Guru, he's going to make the Z Fighters stronger because they're going to be training with a much stronger fighter. So, in this scenario, the Z Fighters are going to be much stronger than before. Let's say several times stronger. Let's say that even Yamcha, or maybe Gohan, the weakest two of the Z Fighters, except for Chao Tzu. I don't really count Chao Tzu even as a Z Fighter because he's not much of a fighter. He's kind of like this weird magic dude. But, let's say that Yamcha and Gohan are pretty equal. And they're like maybe slightly weaker than Nappa. That's how much stronger they are in this. Gohan could be stronger, but he's just too much of a baby still. And with this, we also get Piccolo being much stronger than Goku. And so he f goes back to Earth before the Saiyans get there. This is what I have here. That Goku's technically stronger than Piccolo and like their base forms or whatever. But he can do Kaioken. Piccolo can do Kaioken and the Genki Dama now. Goku can't, so even though Goku is stronger, Piccolo could just do a Kaioken times 2 alone, and he'd be far stronger than Goku. When Nappa and Vegeta arrive, everybody's suppressed, and so they still release the Cybermen, but uh, they're easily defeated. Any single one of these Z Fighters could take on all the Cybermen by themselves and just effortlessly win. And of course, in this scenario, Yamcha would not die to a Cybermen because, like I said, he's around Nappa level. And again, nobody dies against Nappa because there's two people who are slightly weaker and several other people who are far stronger. And so Nappa is going to be pretty easily defeated. He's going to be fodder in here. So with Nappa defeated, it comes to who's going to fight Vegeta, who everybody can tell is far stronger than Nappa and is far out of most people's league except for Goku and Piccolo. And in this scenario, they actually end up going with Piccolo going first because they feel that his power is weaker than Goku and Goku states he is stronger than Piccolo and Piccolo admits it. Piccolo then yells, Kaioken, and his power doubles, shooting way past Goku's. Everybody is surprised that this Namekian that just was on Goku's level, or was just weaker than Goku, all of a sudden, just, just in a single instant, is now stronger, way stronger, to double his power, and so is Vegeta. And Piccolo beats the crap out of Vegeta. I always wanted to see Piccolo fight Vegeta in a real fight. And now we get this badass fight between Piccolo and Vegeta. Or Kaioken 2 Piccolo to be exact. And Piccolo is whooping that ass. And Piccolo actually kills Vegeta, unlike Goku. Goku wasn't able to convince Piccolo in time to not kill him. So, in this scenario, Nappa's defeated by the Z Fighters. He'd probably still be killed by Vegeta just because Vegeta would see him as fodder. And then Piccolo defeats Vegeta with his Kaioken times two. Now I'm gonna say that Piccolo would be weaker than Vegeta and his base, but Kaioken times two would be more than enough to defeat him. And Kaioken times two would be stronger than Goku. So with that being said, the Saiyans are defeated and it seems that Earth is gonna in a good place. But is Piccolo a good guy yet? I'm gonna say, He's in the middle, he's more neutral, but he still wants to kill Goku. And not that he does—he kills Goku yet, but he's still planning on it, he's still training on it, and while he could kill Goku now with Kaioken, it is Piccolo's goal to be able to defeat Goku without Kaioken. And so the, everybody goes off the train, and we see Namek, the peaceful Namekians going throughout their day, and then the Frieza army lands on Namek. They go through, they kill the Namekian warriors, they kill Namekian's children, they kill Namekian entire villages, they find Guru, and they end up discovering that where the Dragon Balls are, but they can't use them because they were just used. They turn to stone, and they're not ready yet, they have to recharge. Eventually, get they get the information from a kid who saw the incidents of Goku, Gohan, and Bulma on Namek, and told them, the kid told Frieza, that they're heading back to Earth to use their Dragon Balls. So Frieza now knows that there are another set of Dragon Balls, and they are on Earth. So Frieza gets his army, gathers them up, and they head their happy way to Earth, so that Frieza can use the Earth Dragon Balls to wish for immortality. Anyways guys, this is just part one. 
if this goes over well i might do a part two but yeah guys this is kind of what i think would happen also add out my own little twist just for story and narrative but let me know what you guys think but anyways guys let me know what you think about this video please do leave a like if you enjoyed comment down below subscribe if you are new turn on notifications if you want to watch more videos join me discord and follow me on twitter hope you guys all have an amazing day peace out